Sam, there in the middle. Go ahead. When did you make the decision to suspend Kenny? Um, we uh, actually visited with Kenny last night. And uh, how disappointed are you given the fact that he has had a suspension earlier this year? Well, it's, it's always disappointing whenever it's any player. Um, and and uh, what we try to do is, is um, hold players to certain standards in this program. And if you're not up to uh, don't don't meet those standards, and there are consequences. And, and unfortunately, this is one of those one of those times. Other questions down front, Kate. So just to clarify, until last night, you thought Kenny was eligible. Uh, to that play wasn't for you guys? that wasn't what I said. I said that we we spoke with him yesterday, last night. But going through practice this week, did you think Kenny would be able to play this Saturday? Um, yeah. And you found out that he couldn't yesterday? No, I didn't find out. I mean, we made the you decision. You decided yesterday. Yes. We didn't find Just out anything. The time. Yep, that's all so right. So it was your decision. It wasn't yeah. Eric. It came from you. Yeah, we met with the family yesterday. Go to the left here, Zach. Anybody want to talk about the game? <laughs> we did win. That's a well, Coach, with Kyle Allen being the quarterback today, um, over here, Coach. Where at? Right here. In the middle. Okay. Uh, with Kyle Allen being the quarterback today, how well did you think he performed, and, and what was your take from the offense's performance today? Well, you know, I, I, we've got to get better. I think uh, it, it was a, a, uh, a situation. Obviously, we changed up formationally from what we've done in the past. Um, played with uh, Ben Compton in the tight end a little bit more, tried to – close the sets a little bit because of uh, the edge pressure and things like that and, and uh, saw some things that you know ran some one-on-one -on -one routes and some two receiver type things but uh, you know we, we've got to give him more of the playbook which he has but uh, you know played it really really close to the vest today I think the, the numbers reflect that but uh, I think the good news is at the end of the game um, uh, which I just told the team, I think this game was won a week ago in the off, off week with, uh, with how we practice uh, and, and from a physical standpoint and a toughness standpoint uh, to close out the game, being able to run the football, take, take some time off the clock and our defense being able to make stops at the end to win the game. And, uh, you, know, uh, you know, from my standpoint, you know, two or three weeks ago, I don't know if we win this game. I think uh, today... Uh, we played a lot of a lot of uh, new faces. Uh, I think you saw a lot of freshmen, uh, a lot of new guys that uh, and and guys who hadn't been on the field play today substantial amount of time, and they can gain confidence from uh, from uh, their play. And uh, anytime you win, uh, you always leave this building or the field feeling better. And and, and uh, these guys feel that way. And, and we got a lot of work to do, uh, but you know. Uh, you, you rather it's a little bit easier uh, to come back to work tomorrow uh, with with a little bit more confidence than we probably had in a month. Go far right, Christy. Can you talk about what Miles Garrett did Garrett did for you today and his progress? Yeah, I thought uh, you know Miles is a guy you know he, he's different than the guys I just talked about that uh, you know he's been playing since week one and uh, we he's no longer a young guy you know he's one of the leaders in this league of of uh, sacks tackles for loss. We need to get that from him. Uh, I thought uh, you saw Jarrett Jackson, uh, uh, Jarrett Johnson, and uh, a couple other guys that were out there today, Alaka, uh, uh, Tara Alaka, uh, Josh Walker, uh, a bunch of guys who aren't in that specific uh, role, haven't been in that role, I'll put it that way, and uh, played substantial amount of time. And, and so uh, did they make mistakes? Yeah, but I think there's some confidence to be gained from that playing as many plays as they played and, and, and doing the things necessary to do to, to win a football game. Far right, Gabe. Kevin, it, it appears that jubilation is kind of the theme. I mean, the players came in and excited just to win no matter what. Maybe the fans are going to say, listen, and that was way too close for our liking. Where do you want them? Is a lot of all those young players, so you don't care? You just want them to get a win right now? Yeah, we, we needed to win. You know, it's been a while since we won. And, uh, you know, it, um, you know, any, any time you win, you, you put everything you have into this. Uh, you know, there's uh, a, lot of, a lot of work, a lot of effort, uh, a lot of time and energy spent. And, uh, you know, uh, regardless of opponent, 
um, you, you you play to win win the game, and and uh, that's what happened. So I'm I'm happy that those guys are happy. Uh, you didn't see a, a crazy uh, um, whatever deal in the locker room. I think they understand that we got work to do. Uh, we understand we have work to do, uh, but um, certainly the the attitude is a lot better uh, right now than it was over the course of the last few weeks. We'll go to the back, Daryl Bruffett down front said, and then KO over to the left. Coach, you put 21 points on the board in the first half, and I'm sure you made some adjustments, but it didn't seem like any of those adjustments really worked out into points in the second half. How, well, how frustrating was that? Uh, it, you know, it can be frustrating. I think we had the ball twice in the third quarter. That's correct. And uh, so that, that was one issue. Uh, our, our defense was bending, but not giving up points. Uh, it turned into a different kind of game than, than maybe we're used to here. Uh, and, and we probably set out, not probably, we did set out, I think, uh, if you look at, you know, basically from a, a formation-wise, set-wise, offensively, to play that style of game. Did we want it that close? No. But did we, did we want to win? Yes. So, you know, uh, you had the ball twice in, in, in uh, the third quarter. You know, we had the, the sack and cause fumble to start the fourth quarter. Off of it, and, and uh, you know that that held us back. But uh, we, there's no no doubt, we got work to do, and uh, we're going to continue to work at it. And um, you know, uh, and we, we, as I said, I I, I think the attitude, uh, regardless of of what uh, people outside the program think, the attitude in that locker room's a heck of a lot better than it was last week. Down front, Cedric. Uh, Kevin, now uh, you're. 33-point favorite, and uh, were you surprised to be in such a tussle? And also, how much? How do you gauge how many chances you can take with an in inexperienced quarterback? Um, I wasn't aware that we were 33-point uh, favorites. That's for you guys. You know, we've been part of both sides of that, so that's for everybody else. You know, as I said, you know, I, I look at that team. That team was uh, that was a. Uh, that's a good football team. They've beaten an ACC team. They've they played two other SEC teams the first half really close. Uh, you know, we had the ball a couple times that, that uh, we, we weren't able to do what we wanted to, what we needed to do to pull away. And uh, but we did enough to win the game. And uh, as I said, I think uh, um, there's there's a lot of things from today that a bunch of our players can learn from. And uh, you know, uh, it's it's it'll be another learning experience for us. We'll get back to work, and and uh, you know, the, the the good news is we're back in the SEC play, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll see how much we improve from today till till next Saturday. Go to the left, Ko, and then Sam back here. Coach, obviously, without the benefit of tape, uh, just an overview: uh, one positive and one negative from today. Uh, positive is we won. And uh, the negative, I guess we didn't win by enough. All right, Sam in the middle. Kevin, 41 carries, 3.3 .3 yards per carry. How do you get that better? Uh, we, you know, we, we, we just got to be better. You know, we had, uh, we had some good plays. We had some negative yardage plays. You know, you add in there the sacks. I think that lowers your, uh, your uh, we, we gave up how many sacks today? Well, let's see, Coach. Three, three sacks. Okay, for how many yards? Mm. Who knows? All right, so <laughs> my, my point is, you know, now you get back to 3.3 .3 instead of four, four or five. And yeah, we, we need to run the ball better and we'll continue to work at it. And, uh, you know, we, GI getting hurt um, didn't help. And so, you know, we had to make an in-game adjustment, uh, move Jarvis Harrison to left tackle, move Cedric over to right tackle, Brought in Grambling, played him at guard and cheek. So, uh, you know, G, uh, GI is a, a big part of what we do. And, uh, you know, to be able to adjust and put those guys in there and, and then add Ben Compton into the mix to try to help us, you know, there was some, uh, it was a concerted effort to, to try to run it and, and continue with that plan, even though one of our better players got hurt right in the, in the middle of the game. Down front here, Mark, and then Brent. Coach, you mentioned the, that you were pleased with the physicality on that final drive. But looking at everything with the way that you guys set up the scheme and the amount of effort that you guys put into the running game, are you pleased with the physicality of your offensive line overall today? Well, I, I think that uh, uh, to answer your question, can we be better? Yes. 
and uh, you know it, it's something that we can we can build on. I think uh, schematically, and uh, uh, from a personnel standpoint, to give ourselves a better chance. Um, as I said, you know, were were we dominant? No, uh, but uh, you know, did at the times that we needed to to do things, I thought we were able to do it. Uh, you know, do you want more points? Obviously, you do. Um, but uh, you know, I thought uh, you know the way the game was, and for what we had to do at the end. Uh, to move the football, take time off the clock, and for our defense to get the stops, the, the three stops that were necessary to, 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 to win the game, you know, that becomes a, uh, a team effort. And our special teams, you know. I, in a game like that, the, you get close games. I thought uh, we executed uh, in, in primarily, I mean, in, in our kicking game very, very well. Uh, we were able to punt, give them long fields, um, and, uh, you know, and, and, and play a complete football game. And like I said, you know, that uh, um, there's, there's been a lot of games like that, but, uh, you know, um, I, 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 I like the energy level that we have right now, and, and uh, we got something to build on, and we got to get better. And Brent? In terms of something to build on, just overall in Kyle's showing and what he needs to improve on moving forward, and also because you are so thin now at quarterback today and also now at Auburn, in terms of a second string, obviously you have Connor, but a Speedy work into that mix as well. Yeah, I mean, we you know we we uh, we'll we'll give Speedy a little bit of that uh, next week, um, and uh, you know maybe as a second or third guy. Uh, obviously, he was he was uh, pretty good at it in high school. He didn't throw it a bunch, but uh, and when he touched it, just like when he touches it out here, he's he's pretty good with his hands. So, you know, he'll he'll become an emergency guy. And a backup guy with 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 Connor and, and uh, um, but you know uh, that that will be the plan moving forward and uh, we'll go from there. Um, yeah, I think this is it's great video for him. You know that you get down to the end of a game like that and uh, he's gonna he's got some uh, things that uh, that he wanted back. Uh, you know, and some check with me situations, maybe throwing that ball on second down. And throwing it short, uh, it was not maybe the best thing that could have happened to stop the clock and everything else. And you know, that's a learning situation. So you know, I I, I think moving forward, there are, there are plenty of things inside the game that we can coach off of that can make him better. And uh, and uh, you know, he, he's not the only one. So we we got a lot of young faces out there today. Um, and like I said, I think the attitude after a game like that is. Uh, there's the to be serious about your question. The positives and the negatives. The positives are we won, and 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 even more positive than that is the fact that guys know that hey, look, we can be better than that. We can get better than that. And there's a lot of things from a lot of young players that played in this game that can learn from it and, and move on. Go to the far right, Gabe. Coach, what does Kenny have to do to get back? This is a second suspension to get back into your good graces in time for Missouri and to main, to regain his starting spot. Well, that's you know that's in house. So he's got uh, the the two games. He served one of them today. Uh, anything other than that, you know, we, that's we, we we talk about that in house. So um, a lot of things that, that go on this program. I think people uh, don't think that uh, there's other things outside of that besides game time. Game time is what you see. Uh, there are other things that he's got to satisfy, and, and until he does that, you know, um, when that when that's done, we'll we'll talk about that then. Last two, Christy, and then Sam, you wrap us up. You talked about Speedy's hands. What did you think of that catch in the end zone? It looked pretty. It was great until he got the, the penalty. So you know, I didn't see it, and I saw it on the jumbotron. And he came. He was running from me on the sideline, and he said, "I'm sorry," but he was excited. You know, uh, you know, he, he's a he's a uh, explosive, dynamic player, and uh, we try to get it to him as much as we can. Um, and just like anything else, he, he's got to grow up and, and 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 act like he's been there before. Um, he gets excited, you know. He's uh, had one oh no, oh yes moment when he picked up the punt, you know. But he's a guy that's trying to make a play. Uh, he's strong with the ball in his hands, and uh, uh, he's a guy that that needs to touch it, you know, 10, 15 times a game. And you know we put Quib back there on kickoff return, try to take uh, Quibiante Gonzalez, try to take some of that off of him because of of uh, the, uh, playing receiver and uh, being the punt returner. Uh, so you know if we had our druthers, we'd probably just 
put him in every position and try to get him the ball because he makes things happen. And, uh, uh, you know, he's a good player that's getting better. And I think people forget, you know, shoot, six weeks ago he had knee surgery. So, you know, he, he's still, you know, he's 100%, but, you know, here's a guy who's physically tough, emotionally uh, ready to go, strong, and, and a guy that uh, uh, is trying his best to help us win, and, and, uh, and I think his effort shows. Sam, you'll wrap us up, but then we'll have Coach uh, Jake Spavital here as well. Kevin, how do you feel Kyle and his handled going from back up to the last two weeks to play being placed in that starting role today? You know, I, you know he doesn't have much choice. You know, how, how I feel how he's handled it, you know, he's handled it pretty well. You know, his parents have been here, uh, been in every game that I've seen, uh, whether he, when he was a backup or if he played or not. I think uh, he's, you know, he's mature. I tried to keep him relaxed, you know, and uh, you get back then. This is a great learning experience for him to be in, in that situation in a close football game uh, and having to do some things, uh, you know, with clock management. Some of you guys saw me hollering, screaming, to snap the ball. He was relaxed and we're down to two or three seconds. You know, those are all things that you take for granted with a young guy. You know, it's, there's a lot going on. And, uh, you know, it's a great learning experience for him and for a lot of these guys, and and that's what that's what that's about. So, you know, moving forward, um, it, it, you know, it it uh, a lot of things happen today to him that he can learn from, and that we can learn from as coaches to put him in a position uh, to to do the things that uh, that uh, are his strength. You know, and one of the, one of his weaknesses was supposed to be not being able to run. And he showed in the first half he can move around a little bit. Now, uh, I probably yelled slide a bunch because, you know, he, he, he started feeling good running and got, about got his head took off over there one time over on their bench. So he learned from that too. And, uh, you know, that, that's, that's all part of being young. But uh, hopefully uh, those are things during the game we, we're starting to correct. And he, he's got to learn. And uh, um, I think he will. All right. Thanks, Coach.